Uh, a lot, a lot, a whole lot. I mean, just last home game, so we just embraced that, and we know we got to win in order to be where we want to be. So it was, it had a lot of fun out there. You mentioned how much uh, the crowd motivates you guys uh, when you're playing. You especially, Gary, when you talk about how much it energizes um, the team in general. Do you feel like this performance tonight was kind of a way to pay tribute back? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, they've been here supporting us. Um, Every home game, for real, and uh, every home game, it just got bigger and bigger, more support, more support. So, I mean, today we just came out and played with our hearts because it was the last one. There is what, what type of performance that Isaiah, had, uh, Isaiah Adams had tonight? What can I do for him as we close out the regular season and accomplish the tournament? Uh, that can do a lot. Um, Isaiah is a key player on the team. Uh, he can do a whole lot for us, and um, him being an X factor like that, uh, you know, it, it can help us a, a whole a whole lot if he can play that way for the rest of the season. So that's going to build momentum for him, build a little confidence in his heart, and that's going to be good for us. Same about CJ as well. He was all over the place. Mm -hmm. CJ, CJ's been playing good all season, though. Um, I mean, t tonight was a good night for him, but he's been playing well all season, so I'm not really worried about CJ. There's you talked about you know, needing to win tonight to get where you want to go. Where is it that the team wants to go? The tournament, March Madness. So, I mean, if we want to make March Madness, then we got to really stamp, stamp an imprint every, every time we step on the floor. Especially looking to get that first round by in the conference tournament. That's very important to you, obviously. For sure, for sure. But I mean, we, we got to play the games regardless of whether we get the bye or not. I mean, we got we got to we got to win out. Okay, from your perspective as a captain, you know, not being senior night, usually you would expect to see a veteran at the top of the stats. If I would say that we didn't have some good veteran performances from both you guys tonight, but uh, in particular, what does it say about uh, you and the leadership that you and the captains that they put forth here? That young guys are stepping up the way they are this season. Uh, I mean, we just we just trying to do like, you know, follow what the coaches say, and uh, just we just trying to implement that on the floor, you know, just showing by example. And then uh, we got like these young guys always, you know, showing up. There's Johnson, Ty, uh, Isaiah, you know, Jamil. Jamil gave us a big bust today, you know. Isaiah, great, great game. Ty, DG, like everybody. CJ, like if I if I'm keep naming, I'll be I'll be mistaken, but like you know. We all trying to like, like DB said, we all trying to like, you know, play one game at a time and uh, trying to get our chance up so we can uh, play in the tournament. Mr. Mule in particular, how would you rate his dunks season? Oh yeah, he's Baby Shark. <laughs> <laughs> he's Baby Shark. He's Baby Shark. Yeah. Baby Shark. Is that, is that something you call him like more than just now or is that I mean, an actual thing? That's an actual I mean, thing. Yeah, that's an actual thing. Yeah. He, be, he be dunking the ball like that. Yeah. He's a big dude. Yeah. <laughs> he dunked the ball in. <laughs> <laughs> like, the crowd, there, there, Chen, you and Anders want you to get in the game. You heard the, the fans like, what was it feeling like senior night being able to get there and kind of close out the victory? I mean, these guys were the ones that were able to make that happen for real. So, uh, you know, the fans are always going to cheer, and we appreciate that, like, for real. Like, that really uh, brings us up. So, when we get a chance to go out there, we just want to have fun because they bring that energy. It was a late game. Nine o'clock game and they still showed up, so we got to show up for them for sure. For each of you guys, what does this program and this university mean to you? I mean, this program and this university gave me the best four years of my life. Uh, I said that in a circle before our last practice. Um, I've met lifelong friends, learned lifelong lessons, and it, I can't take it can't take it away. So it'll be a blessing for my whole life. I probably just build off that. Um, I think that UCF has given me an opportunity that I don't know I would have got anywhere else. Uh, Coach Dawkins has been great. He's been able to, um, you know, allow me to be myself, allow me to be Darius Perry. Um, I don't think I could be be him anywhere else. And then these guys are just just some of the greatest guys to be around. They made some lifelong friends, the guys I'll probably talk to um, until the day I die. So I mean, um, it was just really good that I came here, and there's a blessing, and I'm glad I was be able to do this with them. Uh, so I would say like I've been here for like just a few months, you know, not even a year, but like you know, just playing with these guys, playing with the coaches, stuff, you know, the fans, like you know, it's it's, it's always fun, and that's like something that I will never forget. It's like you know, uh, it's UCF, so go Knights. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's tough, for sure. I'm sure it was tough on him, but he handled it really well. I mean, you couldn't tell in his face, his body language, um, anything he said. He, he was just excited for us, happy for us. Um, and, you know, he, he's going he's gonna to get a chance to come back if we keep doing what we're supposed to do. So right now, even though we're playing for ourselves to be able to advance, we're playing for Brandon as well. So um, even though he wasn't able to play tonight, I'm pretty sure he'll 
love it much more if we can get to the tournament and uh, he can play in that. So, do y'all feel an added sense of responsibility with Brandon out these last couple of games? Um, as as players individually or like as a team? Both. Uh, as players individually, no. Uh, I think we're we're really good with Brandon. We're really we're really good without Brandon. Uh, not to say we don't need Brandon. We definitely need him on the team. Uh, but I, I think the mission is the same regardless. Um, and then as a team, I mean, um, it, it doesn't add anything on us. It doesn't add weight. We don't uh, feel any more weight on our back just because Brandon's gone. I think we just feel like we got to play for him. So it makes it give us more energy. It helps us be able to come out and play harder uh, with the fans or without the fans. Even though we love them so much, we want to be able to play for Brandon, let him be able to play some more games. How do you think you're different without him? Um, you just don't have that, that aspect of uh, – Brandon's a, a huge threat on the floor. I mean, any time he could go for – 30. He, you know, he he's a really, really good player, uh, one-on-one player in the in the system. He plays really good, so he has a different dynamic to the team. Um, and I think he has another threat on the floor as well. So, you know, we're gonna really miss that, and that's why we're gonna keep playing so we get that back. So you got eight days until the next game, gentlemen. Um, got a lot of uh, uh, kind of a spiritual high, so to speak, um, after this game, it being senior and everything. Um, what's gonna be the key in practice to keep up to keep that attack for the uh, coming two games? We haven't accomplished anything yet. That's simple. What Kobe say? Job not finished. Job not finished. We just building the momentum to go like you know, just go uh, our next games and just trying to win them. Just build the momentum from here, and then go win those games and then go win the tournament.